Hey, and welcome back to American Redneck. This is part two of the StarCraft Stardust um, pop-up camper um, utility trailer conversion video. We'll go with that. So, yeah, something happened from the time you watched the last video until the time you're watching this one. So let's jump right into it. So as I told you before uh, in the last video, um, in this video here we were going to take out everything on the inside um, and start disassembling the whole internal parts of it and see what we can salvage out of it and everything like that. The only downside of that is after I made the last video, I ran to the dump, threw all that stuff at the dump, um, went to the Walmart, got a phone call, and there was a couple in the area uh, that were passing through and they wanted to come over and check out the what I had left in there so they came they saw and we conquered <laughs> so the deal was I gave them a really good deal on basically everything that was in there and uh, the deal was you take it out so they took it out <laughs> um, so this part of the video um, of course they took it all out I did help a little bit and they did help me take off the roof which is good so this is where we're at right now you guys don't have to watch all that boring stuff um, taking out all these cupboards and stuff like that was a pain in the butt I tell you that right now um, a lot of hidden file uh, look hidden files yeah a lot of hidden screws in there um, a lot of it was stapled on on the inside we had to cut this all back here to try to get inside to get this bottom one uh, so this was cooler so as you can see what I have left inside is just a bunch of trash which I'll take all this trash out so in this video what we're going to do uh, we actually had to cut this off to get part of it out uh, but there's a nice cable in there so I'm going to use that cable for something so in this video here we're going to go we're going to finish taking off all the accessories and pieces like that that we can use elsewhere or take these off that we can use into the metal take all the lights out of it uh, take the doors off here take out all the wood inside here this is all good burning material Uh, we had a little rough time getting this piece off here. The lady worked on this here off and on for a little bit. And she's probably going to be watching this video, so. <laughs> but yeah, she took that off. Uh, we do have more scrap metal here. We get the back tire off, the spare tire. So like I said, we're going to take all of this metal off in here, add it to our collection. And then anything like this that we can use, we will definitely do that. And then let's start ripping out all this wood inside here. We'll have a fire. And hopefully we can get down to the frame today. If not, you'll know there'll be another video. Well, there's going to be another video anyway because we're going to build up the, uh, the frame on it. But we're getting there and it's awesome. So let me get you all set up and we'll start taking stuff apart. How's that? All right, be right back. So Mags is down there scaring things out of the bushes. She just gets scared. Uh, Patrick's come flying out. What's down there, girl? Go get it. We do have chickens, so there's been a fox around, so I don't see down there chasing a fox or what. I think I saw something just before I press record on here. I think I saw something run across down over through here. Huh. 
All right, we'll keep an eye. So let's uh, start stripping this all down, and uh, we'll get into a musical montage and speed it up a little bit. Let's go. I do believe I get every screw, nut, bolt, everything that's there out. I uh, get all the pieces off. Uh, yeah. So let me just show you these things real quick. So these here, when you do the crank, that's right over there. Uh, these go up and down. That's how you raise and lower the whole thing. It's really cool how it works, I guess. So, I don't know anything about these yet. I know I have one torn apart over there a little bit. Let's go check that out. Uh, I had to cut this one off. Didn't need to, but we did. Um, so if I pull up on this without cutting myself, You can see that it goes all the way down there. So I think we're going to leave those on there until we get all this off. So this is all um, aluminum, maybe. So I think the next step would be, and these are all just glued on. It actually has a piece of wood behind it, if you can see real quick, um, right behind there. So I think that whole thing will come off. So let's take this off this molding on all around and then we'll see if we can strip off all this metal here and uh, we'll go from there all right let's do it you guys ready to tackle this get some gloves here get some tools eye protection I'll go with it let's see if we can start taking off all this siding off in this camper Give it a whirl. That's about where we are at the moment. I have some guy picking up the refrigerator. Um, so then it's just gonna pause. Might work on it a little bit. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Just like that, huh? So, the as soon as I turn my camera off, brought it inside the garage here and plugged it into charge, the guy shows up. She, she shows up in, um, it was a 1980 Mercedes. Um, and it sounded, I don't know. It did not sound right at all. Let me take these off. So, <laughs> he pulls in the driveway. I thought his car was going to die in the driveway. But come to find out, he's a retired mechanic. Uh, he lives up in Lincoln area, Maine, and which is about two hours north of here. And he has converted that car to use 100% vegetable oil. So, he has a couple restaurants up in that area that give him free vegetable oil and he goes and he explained the whole thing I'm not going to explain it to you but he strains everything and he goes through filters and filters and filters and then he just keeps it in his car and that's what he uses for fuel is uh, uh, vegetable oil use vegetable oil um, he's also has he has a, a two gallon jug or five gallon jug or whatever in the back um, 
hang on, I get a phone call. All right, we're back again. Uh, that was the same gentleman who just left. Um, these poles, that telescoping poles, he wants to know what I'm going to be doing with those. So I haven't figured that out yet. Um, I'm going to be hopefully taking those out today in the video. But uh, back to the story, just real quick. So yeah, he runs, uh, I mean, he can drive all, he went to Virginia um, and drove in vegetable oil. Free. Free vegetable oil. Um, and what he was telling me, he has a five gallon bucket or jug in the back that it has diesel in it only. Uh, he's taking out the whole gas tank. So he's got this five gallon jug that he can switch inside of his car. So the last mile before he gets home, he switches it to diesel. What that does is it flushes the whole car system out of vegetable oil and puts diesel back in there uh, so it doesn't congeal or anything like that. And uh, especially in the winter time, vegetable oil really doesn't like to start. So he can start the car up on diesel and um, switch over to vegetable oil. But this is uh, mid-September right now. He said he's driven, he drives all over the place with this car. And he just put, he put uh, diesel in and he's used two gallons of diesel so far this year. So, I mean, that was a, that was a cool story. So back to this. So, um, what I'm going to do now. You guys just watched the whole little montage and everything like that and me taking everything out and taking off the aluminum on the side, which is a pain in the butt, oh my word. But hey, it's going to be money in my pocket when I bring all this aluminum and metal to the yard to get uh, money back from it, which is going to be pretty cool. So I'm not going to film the other part. You guys don't really want to see that uh, where I'm taking that all off and ripping that wall down. But once I get all that, the rest of this wood off, um, I'll bring you guys back and we'll do something else. We'll figure that out when we get there. All right, see you soon. All right, so it's only been seconds for you, but it's been a little bit for me. Nah, not too long. Yeah, 45 minutes, I think. So I will show you what I'm at and then um, we'll film some more after this part here, but you guys didn't need to see all that. That was a pain in the butt. Taking all that aluminum or whatever, sheet metal, I don't know what it is, off the side of the... <laughs> camper uh, so let's check it out so as you can see it's all done well all the sides are off and there's some down here uh, there's all the metal there's that piece there I got to cut up uh, so I still have these things I have to take out Yeah, so the guy wanted those as well, the one that got the refrigerator. And so, for the heck of it, I looked it up on uh, eBay. <laughs> you know how much those things go for? One of those? Just one of those. <laughs> and cause of course I cut that one, so we get three of them left. And he wants those three, and maybe the cabling, I'm assuming. 100 bucks a piece for those. Is what if you look it up, it's a pop-up camper lift. One of those used. So yeah, I cut all that out. And then once I get all the board off, I'll be able to get underneath it. Um, see what I need to do underneath. I think this bumper here, it might not. I was going to cut it off. Because I don't need a bumper on a trailer. But I think what I'm going to do actually, maybe, is just extend it out to here. So it's a little bit further. Um, those there, those will be coming off. Because uh, as you can see, I don't know, maybe not. We'll see. But yeah, that's wide enough to put a four-wheeler on. Um, basically, this trailer will be big enough once I extend it out of here to put a, uh, should be able to put a four-seated side-by-side. Uh, on here it's pretty decent size but that's it so what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna cut up all this wood put it in the trailer not this trailer uh, the trailer for the lawnmower over there and bring it out back and put it in the fireplace fire pit and have a little bit of fire back there and while that's doing that I'm gonna clean up the trailer take all the metal all the screws and stuff like that um, clean all that up clean all the crap off in it 
and then I'll bring you back and you guys can uh, um, watch me rip up linoleum. We'll go from there. Oh, Maggie's out. I'm making bread. What kind of bread you making? You're making zoop? Oh. She made some zucchini bread. Zucchini. I know, but you made zucchini bread the other day, yesterday. That was delicious. Spaghetti, spaghetti night yeah. and homemade bread. Yeah. Sweet. I guess I won't go to the bar then. I think it's been 15 years since I've been to a bar. Anyways, uh, I'll bring you guys back. So as you can see, it's all clean. I took all the stuff off. Cut all the wires and uh, all the tubes that were sticking up, shoved those down, took everything off, and yeah, the bars are just hanging down right now, so I'll take those off in a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can get the, the floor up first. So, right now, um, I'm gonna go and see if I can get up all this linoleum, and we'll go from there. So, uh, I know this video is full of music montages, but you don't want to sit there and watch me for a half hour. Taking a little only off. So, cue the montage. So that's where we're at. Um, this seems like the outside is a little whatnot. And the underside, I don't know, there's no protection underneath there, so it's pretty sturdy, but you don't use um, plywood as the bottom of the trailer because it'll rot out within the season. I could keep it on there for now. I don't like it. Um, but I want to take it off, attempt to take it off, to see if I can get all the wiring, um, get everything all situated, all the cabling out, stuff like that. So, let me figure out how this is on there. And then uh, bring you guys back and we'll see if we can take it off. Alright, we're back. What appears is... Oh, these little things here. Uh, about 10 across. Uh, so there's probably like 100, 120 of these things. Um, you don't want to watch me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just... This is not going to be a musical montage. I'm just going to do as many as I can. And then uh, I'll just speed it up so it's only like 10 seconds, if that, maybe 5 seconds. Uh, so let's, I'll set you up and then we'll do that. Alright, so we just get a bunch out. Um, there's a lot that I can't see. There's a lot around the edges that are rotted so I can't get those out. So let's get the pry bar up and see what we can get up out of this. So again, I'm not, no music, I swear, um, but I'll speed up. So let's get ready. I think we're there. So I think we're going to end the video right here on this one. Um, maybe it's a little bit shorter because I have a lot of uh, stuff going, uh, fast forwarding through. 
But as you can see, we get the whole thing done. The whole thing ripped off. Uh, you guys don't want to watch me cut all this stuff out. It's not going to be that interesting. But uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a perfect trailer to haul. And I'm not cutting this off. I will extend extend it down as far as this here. So let me, I just want to get a tape measure so we can see how long this thing is and how big it is. And then if it's going to be, how fun it's going to be. Let me go tape measure so you can get the idea how big it is. And then we'll end it. If one of you want to go down to the other end, hold this. Great. Nine feet, ten and a half inches. And six feet, four inches. So by the time we get everything set up, it'll be a... What? No. Six by nine trailer. Well, that's going to be the end of this video here uh, with the trailer. Uh, this is part two. And there's not going to be any more to this part of it. Uh, basically, the only thing I have to do now is uh, cut up all that wood, throw it in the fire out back there, uh, get rid of that. So, the only thing I brought to the dump, really, was the canvas and the cushions. Those were really stinky, weren't worth anything. Um, this here, what I'm just going to do with that there, is I might take the metal pieces off there, uh, cut it in quarters, throw it in my truck, bring it to the dump. I think that's what I'm going to do. So with the trailer here, I have to figure out what I want to do with the flooring. Um, what I like to do is flooring and then maybe a one foot riser all the way around it. Other than that, not much. I don't want to do too much more to that. But that might be in another video. If you want to see that video, if you want to get notified when I do that, because I will do that eventually, uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit that little bell notification so you get notified uh, that we just uploaded it. Um, also, comment down below if you enjoyed watching this. If you learned anything from any of these videos, even though this wasn't a repair video, this is a, re uh, a rip apart video, and some of the stuff that I showed you might understand if you have to replace something that it might be in there uh, a lot of this stuff here I ripped out um, but other than that I appreciate you watching us and I really do and uh, visit me online I'll have all the links and descriptions and everything down below uh, american-redneck.com where you're going to see all my new all my videos everything there uh, all the videos I have below mine in mixed in with my site those are all uh, youtubers that I watch personally because uh, they just have a bunch of fun stuff that I like to watch so again thank you for watching American Redneck please subscribe please hit that notification and please comment anything you want down there that, where you from where are you from where are you watching from that's what I want to know that's gay if you live in Maine Definitely write it down there because maybe if you have a YouTube channel or whatever, we can get together and do something. It'd be great. Thanks again for watching American Redneck. Have an amazing day.